thought that came to my mind just now was and I had a wry smile when it came to mind. So all that's really going on is our imagination. Imagining the kind of expansiveness, which which may be closer to truth, and then imagining the limitations, which again I think is close to the truth. And I imagine limitations, and I think abundance and infinity is what exists when I when my eyes are really open. Well, as close to as um, as close to infinity as possible. And then, if that's my imagination creating limitation, what my imagination's a miracle to? Miraculous. I would imagine if we took somebody from a human being from 2,000 years ago and plonked him into your house where you're sitting right now and plonked him or her into my room here in my house in this office. They go, everything in here is a miracle. Everything. I think the only thing recognizable would be my skin, my human form. Everything else, including my clothes, would be unrecognizable. Maybe you're fair to... Well, I don't know, because some people would come in, well, how do you get it to kind of like, to stand up like that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Somebody invented hair wax. <laughs> so I was imagining this um, Romano-Britain guy coming in uh, with his family to say hello. Oh, hello. Um, I'd be speaking in Welsh with them, of course, not English, because that wasn't around 2,000 years ago. So we'd be talking the uh, the British language, and um, and they'd be looking around, going, "Everything in here? Are you kidding? Have you been busy the last two thousand years?" <laughs> and it's funny that so many of these things just get taken for granted by me, by me.